So in this lesson, I'm going to be talking about uh, electrical quantities, or in other words, numbers uh, that we're going to be use, using to describe uh, different aspects of circuits. So first of all, I want to talk about the big picture here. Um, this is a diagram of a, a simple circuit built from uh, the circuit construction kit. Uh, here's a circuit right here working. So first of all, uh, what's the big picture? What's going on in this circuit? Uh, how are we making the light bulb turn on? Well, the light bulb um, is putting out light energy. Okay, so uh, it needs to get that energy from somewhere. And that energy is going to come from this battery. So what's a battery made out of? Um, well, it's more of a chemistry lesson, but there's chemicals inside of this battery, uh, as long, uh, along with uh, some metals. And what the chemicals are doing is they're separating uh, some charges from these metals and uh, leaving one end of the battery, or we call this one terminal of the battery, um, mostly positively charged, and the other terminal of the battery negatively charged. Okay, so chemicals are kind of separating positive and negative charges from some uh, metals in the battery. So that's chemical potential energy being transformed into electrical energy. Now these, the charges are just kind of sitting there when the battery is just by itself. However, when you connect a circuit to it, so here's a circuit, just some wires and a light bulb. When I connect the circuit to the two ends of the battery, well now we're going to add a pathway for charges to be able to move. Just like that. Okay, so uh, this end was positively charged. So you these blue dots, uh, th there's a negative sign in them. They represent negative charges. They're getting attracted towards the positive end of the battery. You may know that negatives and positive attract. And at the same time, the negatives are moving away from the negative end of the battery. You may know that like charges repel. Okay, so um, inside the battery, the chemicals are still working. Um, the chemicals are still working to separate those charges out and sending negative charges to the negative end so that this can keep on going and going and going. So all a circuit is doing is transforming energy a bunch of times. It's chemical potential energy transformed into electrical energy. And that electrical energy is transformed into light energy in the light bulb. And that's what the circuit's doing. Um, it's not just light energy. Uh, there's also thermal energy being created as well. Uh, you may notice when electric things are working, uh, they get warm over time. If they run for a long time, they can get quite warm. Um, so some thermal energy is being created as well in the wires and in the light bulb. Okay, so that's a big picture. Now, how do we describe all of this stuff happening with the numbers? Uh, so that's the purpose of uh, this lesson. So I'm going to start by talking about charge. Uh, charge has a symbol of Q, and uh, it's simply a fundamental property of electrons and protons. So the universe was created with atoms, and atoms have protons and electrons, and um, protons have a positive charge, electrons have a negative charge, and they're equal in magnitude and opposite in sign. And that's just the way it is, okay? That's just, that, that's just what matter is made out of, okay? Nobody designed it that way. Um, we just observed it to be that way, and now we're trying to quantify things. So if an object has more protons than electrons, then um, you can subtract them, and whatever, whatever the answer is, is the charge of the object. Um, so one proton is really tiny, one electron is really tiny. So by itself, it does not have that much of a charge. So what scientists have done is they've created a new unit called a coulomb. 
Okay, this is pronounced Coulomb, named after a scientist, uh, with the symbol C. And they said that one Coulomb is going to be equivalent to six, well, approximately six times 10 to the power of 18 um, protons. This E stands for a proton, or the charge of a proton, whereas a negative E stands for the charge of an electron. Okay, so they, they invented this new term, which is basically like a, a bundle or a collection of protons, six times 10 to the 18 of them. Um, and that's what one Coulomb is. You can take the reciprocal of that. Okay, if I just take 6.24 times 10 to the 18, take the reciprocal of that, it becomes 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And that would be uh, the inverse. That would be uh, how many Coulombs is equal to one proton. Okay, so one proton by itself is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. All right, so uh, that is charge. Next is voltage. Voltage has a symbol delta V. So delta means a change in something or a difference in something. So voltage is defined as the difference in energy per unit charge uh, between two points in a circuit. The difference in energy per unit charge between two points in a circuit. So I'm going to try to explain what that means using the circuit construction kit, but first I'll talk about the formula. So this formula is built directly from this definition. Voltage is equal to the energy, or sorry, the difference in energy, delta E, per unit of charge. So it's energy divided by Q. Q is charge. So voltage is energy per charge. Uh, the unit we use is a volt, which is also a V. So it gets kind of confusing. Voltage is delta V. That's a symbol for voltage. And it's measured in volts, which is V. One volt is equal to one joule per coulomb. Because if you take the units of energy, or joules, divided by the units of charge, which I just said were coulombs, then we get joules divided by coulombs. So one volt is the same as one joule of energy per coulomb of charge. So if I take this circuit here, uh, right here I'm grabbing what I call a voltmeter. A voltmeter is something that's got two needles that you can you can attach to two parts of a circuit. So I'll put one on one end of the battery and I'll put one on the other end of the battery. And the order matters too. I, I kind of guessed here and I got the right order. But this is saying that I've got a voltage of nine volts. So what does that mean? So nine volts would be saying that each one of these charges, so these, these blue dots, they're, they're coulombs. Now you know the name for them. Each one of these is one coulomb. So as a coulomb moves from one end of the battery to the other end of the battery inside the battery, they get energy. Okay, the chemicals in the battery end up, um, end up giving energies to the coulombs, basically. So they're getting nine joules of energy for every coulomb. So nine volts means nine joules for every coulomb. And now I will put my needles across the light bulb. Put one needle at the start of the light bulb, one needle at the end of the light bulb. I'll switch the order of them. All right, and now I've got this reading of negative nine volts negative nine volts. So this is saying that from the start of the light bulb to the end of the light bulb, uh, each coulomb, each of these blue dots is losing nine joules of energy. So negative nine volts means a loss of nine joules for every coulomb. So that's what voltage is. It's energy per coulomb. All right, 
Next is current. Current is the amount of charge that passes a specific point on a circuit per second. The amount of charge that passes a, a specific point on a circuit per second. Uh, so the formula, first of all, the symbol for current is capital I. We're not using C because C is re reserved for coulombs. So capital I is current, and it's going to be the charge divided by the time. And that's measured in something called amperes, or A, or amps. And one amp is equal to one coulomb per second. If you take a look at this formula, charges in coulombs divided by time, which is in seconds, it's coulombs per second. So here, what's going on is um, I can ask what the current of the circuit is or any point in the circuit. That's how fast the charges are moving around, basically. Um, it's, like a, it's like a counter, really. So I grab my ammeter. So I'm going to break this point of the circuit here. I'm going to hook up this ammeter to measure the current. And right now it's saying 0 0.9 amps. What does that mean? That means that every second, on average, 0 0.9 of these blue dots pass through. So it's like measuring how many are going by every second. So if I, I'm just going to add another battery here. And now you'll see things are going faster. Okay, things are going faster. So the current's higher and it's a counter. It's counting, now it's saying about on average 1.8 blue dots are passing through that spot every second. And in a simple circuit like this, simple circuit like this, uh, the current's the same everywhere. Okay, the blue dots are going at about the same speed through the whole circuit. Even if I put it right between these two batteries here, it's still 1.8 amps, okay? In more complicated circuits, um, the current will be faster in some places and slower in other places. But in this circuit, it's just uh, the same speed throughout. So that's what current is. And finally, resistance. Uh, resistance slows down current. Okay, resistance, this is something you add in that slows down current. Um, the formula, now this formula has a special name. Uh, I'll talk about it later, but it ha I have a whole other slide for this formula by itself. I'll skip it for now. But resistance is measured in something called ohms. And the symbol for an ohm is the Greek capital O, which is omega. It looks like a horseshoe when you draw it out. So um, resistance is just something that slows down the, the charges. So I can make these blue dots slow down by adding more resistance to it. So light bulbs come with a certain resistance. If I add a second light bulb in here, then I'm adding more resistance to the circuit. Things are going to be slower. And obviously another thing I can add to make it even slower or add more resistance is a resistor. I'll add that in and things are going even slower. Okay, so my current uh, is much slower now. I'll measure it. It's down to 0 0.6 amps now because I've added so much more resistance. All right, so uh, once again, there's going to be a second video uh, for this lesson because we're running out of time here. Um, so I'll finish it off in that video.